It's round 13 Gold Coast Premier League action here this afternoon as Surface Paradise Apollo take on Broadbeach United Soccer Club here at Lex Bell Oval. And both teams will know the importance of this game in much different fashion. Though Surface obviously on the quest to try get that league title and chase down Burley's gap at the top of the table. And Broadbeach now a win here would put them into the four with a bit of breathing, breathing space, sorry, should I say, leading into the last couple of rounds here in the Gold Coast Premier League. And both teams starting to get all their players back from a bit of injuries and suspension issues. And we're sure set to be an absolute cracker here this afternoon in this fixture. As both sides know that they will need three points here to maintain their own ambitions for the 2019 Gold Coast Premier League season. And both teams started off quite positively here. A lot of good passages of football here from both teams and eventually the Dolphins were, however, the luckier of the two teams and managed to get a penalty awarded. Probably a clear penalty there, no complaints from majority of the surface team. And Sean Robinson made no mistake beating the outstretched hand of Tim Warren to give the Dolphins a 1-0 lead here in this clash. And it was going to be an uphill battle from here from surface. They had to rally hard, um, but eventually... They fell two goals behind as Tomoki Asakawa again beat Tim Warren's outstretched hand to give the double the Dolphins advantage and give them a 2-0 lead in this clash. And it made a lot of people start scratching their heads, especially the surface supporters and staff wondering how have they fallen behind 2-0 here. But of course, great passages of play were the result of that. And Surface started to come into the game a bit more then after that second goal, creating some more opportunities, forcing Luka Zoric into a save there, but eventually turned in by the leading marksman on the Gold Coast so far, Teddy Watson. Again, Calvin McCallion's shot, well saved by Zoric in the initial period. But then again, was Rodriguez... First to react, he was and found Teddy Watson inside the centre for the tap-in goal to get one back for Apollo, but it wasn't long-lived. Eventually, it was Rodriguez, the man who created that goal, who gave away a penalty here in this one, a dubious penalty, but on the video, you probably see that he was just a touch behind the Broadbridge player and maybe clipped him on the way through as Robinson made no mistake from the spot again giving Brobich a 3-1 lead here in the first half. And you would think it would have to cause a quick response from surface if they were to get anything out of this clash. And as the second half approached, and it was surface who responded the better of the two teams in the second half, majority of people knew they would come out firing, and eventually they did and got their goal back through Brandon Gomez, a great finish there from the surface paradise winger from that Teddy Watson long-range effort. That was kept out by the post. Gomez following up again off that shot and making no mistake. Slotting the ball past Zorich to grab one back for surface. And you would start to think now here that maybe that Apollo would kick on and get the better stick end of the stick from both teams as Teddy Watson's lofted effort there nearly trying to find the man out wide and eventually a miss there from surface that they will probably regret as Dragicevic then in a forward position found Calvin McCallion on his head to get the equalizing goal here. Great piece of work there from Dragicevic on the right-hand side, finding McCallion for the header past the Brobich goalkeeper Zoric and into the back of the net. And we did have a game here. Everyone thought, what next? Surface obviously with their tails up and the more confident of the two teams in the second half. But the Dolphins, they responded tremendously well. And a little deflection there just caught Bowick off guard, bounced over his head. And that man, Sean Robinson, getting his Brobich's fourth goal of the afternoon, his third, rounding out the hat-trick here from the Asakawa corner. Again, as you see there, that bounce just beating Bowick in the air. And Robinson's first time finish left Warren stranded with nothing else he could do as Brobich take a massive three points here with a 4-3 victory over Surface Paradise Apollo to maintain themselves in the top four.